all right guys let's go ahead and watch this movie and then circle back and talk about it bless him ma you told me that my husband was sleeping around when i travel yes ma now for that long chair for palo him been they sleep sometimes even for this dining you get one day where i even wake up when he sleep for outside but my mind been they tell me say now because he miss you now make and they sleep around Illiterate. You are just an illiterate. Your problem is illiteracy. Baby, sorry, okay? Please forgive me. I should have asked her what she meant by that before jumping to conclusion. Sorry. It's alright. You're forgiving. <laughs> what is going on between you and Blessing? Whatever you are looking for. She will not get it from me. Excuse me. You must give me answers. So it has got to the extent of you taking her shopping. What did you buy? Did you buy her designer pants and bras? She will stop this madness right now. I don't know what you're blabbing about. I have never taken blessings shopping. Ah! Oh guy, just lie now now. Mm -hmm. Sir, you won't deny me. Have you gone crazy? But sir, you don't carry me go shopping before now. Yes. You remember that day we Madame Sima by her pad. Are you? I allow her to talk. Let me speak. Continue. As I they go, now you say they go walk. You can't carry me for inside your car. Drop me for the plaza. You can't they go. Let me say go go by with Madame. Send me. Come back house fast fast. Madam, I don't want to sleep for a year. You want to sleep on the floor? In front of my bedroom? Where you have a comfortable bed and a room all to yourself? If you don't tell me what you're doing here, I will strangle you! Madam, I don't want to sleep for a year because... <laughs> Baby, I don't understand why you're finding this funny. Our house up came to camp in front of our room. She wants to hear what we are doing. Bless him. Sir. You are fired. Your services are no longer needed. And you will leave this house tomorrow. Yes. Get out. Alright guys, so let's talk about this one, complicated marriage. You know, I know we get the point that the nanny was illiterate and that was really a bad thing of course i can't say don you know hire an illiterate nanny because you know nanny's role really in the household doesn't have anything to do with literacy you know it's pretty much to help out with the house chores or things that gotta be done right whether it's shopping cooking and those things pretty much don't need literacy in it so we're gonna address the bigger issue and the bigger issue in that relationship has to do with the wife it's one thing having a past that you know was full of mistrust and there's another thing trying to use your own hands by bringing your past experiences to your current relationship sometimes it's always better for somebody to hail completely from whatever bad relationship they used to be in before they proceed to a new relationship and the main reason why this is necessary is so that you do not pretty much pack the baggage that goes along with the old relationship and bring it to the new person this definitely hurts because you know the person that really bears the bigger of the problem is now the new person that's in your life because, you know, there they go having to deal with your mistrust issues. Uh, there they go having to deal with things that really don't consign them. As you can see in this case, every little thing the nanny says, of course she's saying it ignorantly. But the bottom line is that the lady was just believing everything that he said. Everything that she said. That begs the question, if this nanny really was there to mess up that relationship, all she had to do is tell one big lie 
and the whole marriage will be in shambles because the lady wasn't even giving her husband the time of day. You don't accuse somebody of something and instantly, you know, blame them without even hearing their own side of the story. That seems to be what the case was with the, you know, the wife. Uh, anything that the nanny says, she took it and she attacked the man. And, you know, if it's not that the nanny ended up showing where her illiterate side, you know, misunderstood or misquoted what happened, it would have ended up in a situation where she would, you know, really believe that the man did something. So was it a good idea that she got fired? You know, sometimes, you know, I can't really blame the person that decides to fire her. But the truth is that the nanny was just doing her job you know, expressing her feelings, doing her job well. I don't think there's anything she did that was wrong. I don't really get the last part of, you know, camping in front of their room. But for the most part, she was pretty much, you know, uh, open book in regards to anything that she said. The moral of the story here is ladies, you know, and this even goes to guys, but, you know, mostly ladies, kind of be mindful when you take things that people tell you outside about your family about your husband, you know, because the truth is that there's a lot of people out there that might be, you know, codedly jealous of you. And you wouldn't know this. This includes friends and family, especially when it looks like you're happy or comfortable in your relationship. It always has a way of rubbing those close ones wrong, especially the people that don't have good intentions from the get go definitely definitely stop listening to what people say about your husband half the time they either don't know what they're saying or they're just trying to ruin your life and in those cases where for some reason you believe that there might be some truth you know at least give the man the chance to even address the issue and i mean give him a fair chance not a chance that you're humping and humping right next to every word that he says because you're trying to end up saying that is a lie regardless. That means you're not even open to hearing what he has to say. So, you know, ladies, please save your marriages because half the time, you know, you girls are the ones that bring about all the, you know, catastrophe that starts brewing now men definitely have their own issues when it comes to relationships and definitely let it be a communication you know don't attack somebody for something you don't have evidence of your evidence cannot be that somebody else told you because you don't know the intentions of this somebody i've seen where sisters people that are close close you know, end up telling tales to their sister about the husband. Some of them are plain, blatant lies that were intended for the sister to break up with the man for whatever reason that they have. This is just like a little reminder, you know, before you accuse somebody of something, you got to be a little bit more sure of what you're accusing. If you're not sure, then let it be a question. Let it not be an accusation. Without facts, you know, all you're doing is putting sand in your own gary. And that's all I have for this one, guys. If you love this kind of content, please like, subscribe, share, follow. This is CJ from Actari Studios, and I'm here to deliver sense.